Pro Exterior Services here on a beautiful day. We got the birds chirping and everything. It's in the morning over here. Anyway, I wanted to, uh, we're going to try to emulate. We was on a job the other day and we were running a, uh, we did a house wash surface cleaning. Uh, and we noticed some issues with the IGX 800. So we did another driveway and, you know, about, I don't know, 15 minutes in, it was okay. And then under a load it started acting funny off a load it would rev back up eventually so we just here at the house just doing some maintenance and stuff and uh we got the service cleaner out we're gonna pull some hose we just got a trailer parked right now i'm gonna try to emulate what we got going on because i think we have a fix but i want to go through the process and, and and demonstrate what's going on with with that so anyway let me uh let us get set up we're gonna pull some hose got the service cleaner out and then uh We'll try to emulate the problem and try to hope hope to help someone else in the future. So we'll catch up with you in a minute. Peace. Honey, we got this uh, hose pulled. We're just gonna do a little ball valve to get some of this debris off. But this thing is ice cold, except for sitting in the sun. But it's ice cold. So I'm gonna try to emulate the problems we are having. So this is again the IGX 800 EFI. So we're gonna go ahead and crank it up. Tony's got the ball valve open. bit just kind of crack it like you're rinsing the driveway yeah there you go see what's going on do it again and when we leave it at uh you know half throttle or something ball valve open it seems to run fine this one we crank it up Crack the valve. Did it act right? So it's working right now. He's gonna hook up the surface cleaner. Yeah. Gotta warm up. So, with that said, I'd like to give a shout out to my boy, Pink Flamingo Cliff. 
coincidentally, he just brought it to a shop, Ameritech, and had a similar issue. So I called Gary over at Ameritech. He, uh, he confirmed that this engine's great engine have a problem with the coils, kind of like 690, but he was able to identify that there's a resist, a resistor he had. Let me try, let me show you. So I got the package in, so I ordered them from him. So he sends you two new plugs, gapped, and then here, here here's, this is the uh, key side, so the right side, but he adds a resistor to this. And here's a, a shot of the part number, in case you guys want to screenshot it. You probably, you can't order this online, so don't ask for a link. There is no link. You got to call these guys, but here's the other one. Filter side. So anyway, he, he, this brand new coils, he adds a resistor to them. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and swap this bad boy out. We knew how it was working. And uh, now I have to pull my trailer out and do the whole driveway. But we got to take this cover off and go from there. But let us get to work on this and then we'll get some footage here in a minute. All right, peace. Okay, guys, we got a total of uh, six screws or bolt, four bolts, two screws to get this out. So we got one, two, down here at the bottom, three, four, and then you got two screws here. This cover pops off, exposes the coils here. So again, he marked it. He put the resistors, the aftermarket resistors in there. So we're going there. So we're going to go ahead and disassemble the coils. We may have to take this nut out here to get you know move that out to get the boot through but we'll figure that out so we're going to go ahead and change that out and again we got both coils so we're going to see how it runs after that we'll get some footage here in a minute peace right, guys and girls here's the right side old coil um, we did have to take this top nut off the engine to kind of open it up to get the boot out but one other thing i, no I did notice is i always put the dielectric you know well you can't even see it anymore but it's dielectric grease in my connections and as you can see i filled them up but there was not in I, I didn't see anything so here's the new coil we're going to go ahead and pop this in you got the green for the green wire and the red for the black wire so we're going to go ahead and route it put it on and i'm going to also put anti-seize on the nuts in this engine just to keep them from freezing up so anyway let us get this in we'll get some more footage here in a minute peace coil number two so we was able to unbolt it on it's strapped to this black wire both of them so we're going to restrap them tie strap them Got a connection off, but we did have to take off the fuel pump mounting bracket bolts to push it out a little bit to squeeze the plug through. We're going to go ahead and reinstall. And this is that anti-seize I was talking about, anti-seize thread lubricant. So we're going to put that on everything before we put it back. So we're going to go ahead and finish this up. I got to mess with this connector. It's a little jacked up, but we'll fix that and then uh, get rolling here in a minute. Peace. All right, guys and girls. Got both coil packs in. Got it all tie strapped back together, put the uh, fuel uh, bracket mounting bolts back in, put this side back in. I'm going to go ahead and reinsert the cover here. Well, where is it at? Somewhere around here. Right here. Put the cover back on. Uh, change out the spark plugs. And we'll be good to go. And they even come, these come pre-greased. So just change the plugs. And roll with that and then uh, we'll crank it up and try it again catch up with you in a minute peace all right guys and girls we got it all back together pretty simple process really all you need is a 10 millimeter remove a couple things make sure everything's tight put it back in place uh got the new plugs in there too so we got it all wrapped up we're going to be rolling here in a minute but let me show you the plugs i'll move the trail out of the driveway so again here's the filter side just Filter side, part number 30520-ZDX-003. And then the key side, which would be your driver's side. Key side, which is uh, 30510-ZDX-003. And then the plugs that were sent with is a BPR5ES7734. Two of those gapped at Kept at 28 thousandths. So we got that rolling. I checked the gap with my little gap meter. We're good there. It's uh, it's all good. So we're gonna uh, crank it up real quick and just run it and see how it performs. So let's give it a test. You ready, Tony?
Hey Tony, just do uh, do the section right here and right here a little bit. You know, we got to move everything, but so we're gonna. I'm gonna get out the way a little bit. So we'll see what happens. Seems to be working pretty good so far, but again, it, it needs to warm up a little bit. And I think it's what we're going to do. I'm about to shut down. This is too complicated. I don't like it. I'm going to hook the trailer up, pull it right in front of my driveway. So we can just do the whole thing real quick. So. We'll catch up in a minute. i get some more footage. Peace. All right, guys. Moved the truck. Got it all rolling. About to crank it up. See how it rolls. And go from there. Hopefully this bad boy's fixed. Ready for another... I forget when I built that. Don't... Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Just going to... You gonna crank it up here in a minute. I'm gonna put a little pressure on it, so hold on. Just enough to get this debris off. Not often I get to do my own work, my own driveway. We got work to be doing, but I had to get this fixed. So. Shout out to Ameritech. Again, you, there's no link for this stuff. This is a special, special deal. You got to call them over there. Just tell them that uh, you need the uh, IGX 800 with, with the resistor coils. They know exactly what you're talking about. Oh yeah, it's my drill book. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get get this rolling. We're gonna give you some performance update here in a minute because it's got to warm up. All right, peace. Went ahead and finished the whole driveway. It takes 15, 20 minutes, but uh, I let it. I go slow. I did a couple extra. Ran the machine about 30, 40 minutes. No problem. Fixed. Let's get some jobs in now. It's on. So we're gonna disconnect. I'm gonna go ahead and post treat while I'm here. Got this. Got the gear out. of sun shining. Supposed to get a bunch of rain tomorrow. So anyway, we'll get caught up. I uh, hope this helps somebody in need that that's needing something or. Uh, you know, trying to get some stuff done there. IGX 800s. This does not apply to 690. I have no idea. But I did. I was told on a 690, if you run it, to check the coils, unplug one of the spark plugs, run it. If it runs, it may run rough because it's only on one cylinder. But if it runs, that coil is good. And, you know, opposite side. And if it runs, it's good. If it doesn't, that coil is bad. So, don't know. I would, that's, somebody told me that. But anyway, we're ready to roll. Back in business. All right, catch up. Peace.